can still see my reflection. Those vampires? Right, there we go. Wasn't so bad, was it? I didn't feel anything. Are they right? Are we... Oh, we'll just have to wait for the test results to come back. Come on, Dr K, just, just say it. Your readings are... Uh, well, they're erratic. Oh, <laughs> awesome. It means we shouldn't be alive. Do you think there'll be more? There's a distinct possibility that whatever mechanism caused this to happen, it could be contagious. <coughs> Does that mean that Lil and Serena might... Troy. D. Look, I, I'm just going to have to ask you to stay calm and, and stay put. I'll leave you in the care of the nurses while I brush these through the lab. Dr K. Yes? Could you just get some food sent through? Sorry, I just can't help it. No, no, no. It's, I mean, it's only natural. It's okay to wonder. I mean, she was your wife. That just seems so normal, don't they? Yeah, well, except for Robbo, from the sounds of it. Do you think there's a chance that she might be still alive? Am I mad? I mean, prior to tonight, I, I, I probably would have said yes. But, I mean, if you need to go and find her, then... Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me, I'm not gonna kiss you. Serena did. Don't speak ill of the undead. This way. Oh, come on, you never seen a shortcut before? Sorry. There's no way to treat you to your ex-boyfriend. Why did you have to do that to him? No, what can I say? Me and cops. It's now, though. Dad? I missed you, mate. Dad, you stay back. Okay, I mean it. Oh, look how you've grown up. I like the hair. You stay back, Dad. <laughs> you better stop him. He looks hungry. Go! Well, you've got weirder. Uh, yeah, was. Yeah, sorry, it's just, uh... Are you having any funky cravings? No, I feel fine. Yeah, me too. David, Stingray. Come to rub it in, have you? I'm not going to see what's happening with that food. Yep. Uh, well, Stingray, hold it. So, you're the mayor now? Well, yes, I've, uh, I've always cared about this place and the people in it. You certainly cared for Lil, didn't you? Do you think I'm proud about the things I did back then? You tell me. I'm actually here to give you an apology, David. For hiring us a faulty plane. No one told you. Tell me what? About the crash. It wasn't an accident. Uh, look, my son, he... Uh, he wasn't well and... So this is all because of you?! True. What's the last thing you remember? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. It's... What date is it? That's not important right now. You see, the thing is, you had a fall, but there are people oh. like you, people experiencing the same difficulties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Susan, I just can't remember a thing. It's okay, True. You, you, you have to try and relax. Oh, very hard to do when you won't tell me what I'm doing here or why I can't see Lib. Let me give oh. you something to try and help you sleep. <laughs> what are you hiding from me? Tell him, Carl. I want to see my wife. Drew, she's not... she's not your wife. 
Not anymore. I can't believe it's actually you. Yeah, I can't believe that you're an actual fully-fledged nurse. Well, yeah, the Brooks side of the family, that's where the brains are from. Brains? Have you called Janelle yet? <sighs> Why not? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, make sure that, you know, I'm good first and, um... And I don't have any phone credit, so... She's gonna want to know that you're okay. I mean, we thought that you were cremated. Yeah, I've just been busy putting myself back together, you know? You don't understand how much we've all missed you, <laughs> Stingray. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you smell really good. Four people from the one street. What are the odds? I don't know. But whatever's brought them back, it could be very dangerous. We need to get him to hospital. Ben, tell me about him. Well, um... He takes after you, I suppose. Hmm? Yeah, in a way. I mean, he's he's a bright kid. He's, mm. he's very passionate. You'd, you'd be proud of him. He's not closer to Darren or Dan, is it? What happened wasn't your fault, Drew. Oh, I wasn't there for him. I, my own son. But you would have been, and he knows that. Oh, Drew, you need to see a doctor. Well, can't you examine me? Uh, no, it's a little outside my area of expertise. Oh, so what, they'll run some tests? That, will they ever let me out or will I lose another 12 years? I just want to make sure that you're well enough to see Libby and Ben. But what if I'm not? What if, what if they think I'm some sort of freak of nature? What then? Now, Drew. No, Carl, I won't. I'm not going anywhere. Relax. Drew, you're under a lot of stress. No. We need to get you to the hospital. No, I will not. Come on. 